Welcome back everyone to potentially the last episode of the Heart Gold Shady Lock. So, as you can see on the layout, I do quite a bit of grinding, but I made a new team, so I'm gonna quickly show them off to you guys. <clears throat> so we got Apple the Snorlax now, pretty great. He's got shell armor, so we're having no crits, none of that wildness, so that's pretty nice. He'll have a lot of HP, and so I could really use him in those special defensive situations. Uh, he's got Body Slam, Double Kick, Crunch, and Strength right now. Then I got Kage. He evolved and got Synchronized, which, fun fact, I actually had a um, a Swinub in the box as well as a Pillow Swine. So there's somewhere where I messed up my encounters, so I actually could have gotten something else potentially. But I just kind of went with it and didn't really worry about it. <clears throat> but Kage's got Ice Shard, Hammer Arm, Earthquake, and Ice Fang. Hold me Expert Belt. I got Cormo back and I finally evolved him and he's got Aftermath, which is, it's fine. He's got Wise Glasses, he's got uh, Shadow Ball, Hypnosis, Dark Pulse, and Confuse Ray. We got Ramsey still with the Sand Veil ability with the Bright Powder with Seed Bomb, Sky Uppercut, Poison Jab, and Stun Spore. We got Gus, the, the, the Magmortar, with Plus, unfortunately. Uh, holding the Wise Glasses with Flamethrower, Fan Attack, Aurora Beam, and Confuse Ray. And I got Invisible Brandon down here with the Solid Rock ability with Quick, holding the Quick Claw with Peck, Waterfall, Surf, and Metal Claw. He's, I was really hoping I was going to be able to give him something with like recoil damage that'd be really good, but I just, I couldn't find anything for like TM wise to teach him. Um... As you can see though, like I am completely out of moves on everyone, or at least attacking moves. Um, so I need to heal again, uh, and I do say again, uh, I had to use two heals in order to get to this training. I had to use the heal from this house, and I had to use the heal from Professor Elm's lab. Now because I don't want to go all the way back, uh, I'm going to technically use a token right now uh, to heal in this house, because I don't really want to go all the way back to a Pokemon Center. So, <clears throat> just a, uh, one other thing, um, as we're right before Victory Road, uh, I knew that was going to be the best spot to train, so I did go and get the encounter in between episodes, and I got a Pupitar. So, he's chilling in the box right now, I didn't really look too much into him, because he was another pseudo I wasn't going to be able to use. Um, which also, I'm very bummed, I... Do not get to use that Gyarados. Not Gyarados. One more time. I'm very bummed I don't get to use that Metagross. Um, because it's just going to be too hard for me to... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to decide who I'm going to lead right now. Go, go Gus. Also, you can see that Brandon got a few extra levels. He's had a lot of PP left to use. And I just want to finish his training. Uh, 45 is like right in between the league, so it was kind of a safe bet. Um, but pseudo-wise, I I wanted to use the Mether Gross, and I really wanted to use the Pupitar, as you can see I caught him. But I just couldn't, because it was going to take so much in order to get them leveled up. Like, And I was going to have to use so many more heals that I had to switch them out, unfortunately. Like, I have the heals right now, but I don't know if I'm going to need them again after, like, fighting my rival or something. I'm pretty sure I fight him here, and I'm... Mm, I think that might be it, actually. I should have grabbed repels, though. I end up burning through a lot of my supplies during training and kept having to go back because I can't just heal every single time, so that was really annoying. I was like, all right, here we go. Got to go. Got to go buy some super potions because I didn't want to go all the way back to Goldenrod to go to the vending machine. I did that like once, and I was like, nope, I'm done. Not doing that again. All right, cool. I got two blue shards. As you can see, Pupitar was a pretty common encounter here, so it's not crazy that I got it. Uh, I did end up finding out that 
in Tojo Falls where I encountered a Badu, there was an encounter there for a Kyogre. So, yeah. That was a pretty fun thing to find out. It was... I don't know why. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> um, I still don't know if I would have subbed out Brandon, but I would have definitely thought about it quite a bit, because, you know, I mean, Brandon's fine, but he's not, you know, Lu I was going to say Lugia. He's not Kyogre good. And while we're on the note of encounters I really missed, um, in Dark Cave on the other side, well, on the other side of Dark Cave by Blackthorn, whenever you start going down, uh, there were two fantastic encounters there, being Lugia and Kyogre were over there. But, you know, that that's a long time to wait to get that encounter. You have a lot of chances before then to get it. This big boy. Dustox was here a lot during my training, too. Him and Delibird and Loudred, they were like all here a lot. Sentra was there a lot too. I was running from a lot of Sentrits. I think Sentrits like the bane of my existence in this playthrough. With me catching it as a really late encounter, as well as it being the legendary randomized to it, it was pretty rough. Um. Oh, look, I picked the right path, because I'm so smart. I definitely knew there was an item here. There's Delibird. Delibird is really good training for, like, Cormo, since he couldn't hit, hit me with anything, because, you know, present isn't really great. Also, it healed me a lot. Roll a berry? Wow, 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 wow. Well, tell me what it is. Hold on. Uh, I know how to spell. There it is. Oh, I've got two of them. Uh, held by foe, held by Pokemon, and a foe special attack lands. The foe also takes damage. Interesting. Kind of weird how it's only special attack. That's a weird berry. One of those berries that I bet competitive players can use really well, but I'm just like, why would I want to get hit whenever I can hit them? I'm bad at competitive Pokemon because I'm like, I want all sweepers on my team. No setup. Just sweepers. And that mindset does not pay off. I'm definitely kind of hoping uh, either I'm going to make this episode a long one or uh, by the next one, it's probably going to end it off. Uh, Ayapa. Ayapa, yap, yap. Oh, okay. Fun thing. So, yesterday I was at work, and I, um... <clears throat> okay. I'm taking unnecessary damage right now. Uh, yesterday I was at work, and me and my coworker getting kind of bored. So we decided, like, every time we see a customer walk up, we're just gonna look at each other and yell, Aliens. And it was very funny, just like... And I'm just like turned away from them, and uh, she looks up and she, she just looks at me and it's like aliens, and I'm like aliens, aliens. It, it was it it was very dumb, but it was fun too. Hundred percent, I do it again. Probably will do it again. Probably tomorrow, honestly though. I'm getting lost. Uh, there's a strength boulder here. Is there a strength puzzle in here? I don't remember a strength puzzle. I thought you just kind of ran through uh, Victory Road and fought your rival at the end. Okay, it's definitely like one that drops from above, so like there might be more I have to do, which is kind of a bummer. I think I see how this works. I got pretty good eyes. That's why I wear glasses. To protect my big eyes. Yep. I don't think I can push this rock out of the way, can I? Nope, that's what I thought. Hold on.
I think I'm just being dumb. No, leave me alone. Oh, Marsh time? Hello. With Drizzle? Hello. No. Okay, I, I said it now and he wants to he wants to join the team, you know? Swear. Fuck. It, it. Wait, what? It's baby Marsh Tom. Alright. Abilities like that are very annoying. Why can't I run? How slow am I? I have 102 speed. Literally the only one faster is... Cormo. Cormo the Gengar. I don't like you, Ninjask. I don't like you, Wooper. Oh, cool, that one didn't have Shadow Tag. Okay, now we're into it. Let's just fall down this hole. Oh, okay, I can kind of see the spots now. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I want repels. I also want the item. Ready for this, guys? Ready for this? Completely unnecessary, but we're gonna get another experience share. Mental herb, so close. Ah. Wild encounters, man. They're like the bane, especially when they're as fast as ninjask. I guess I probably could have just uh, switched to Cormo. My brain had to catch up to the words that I was saying. Okay, I missed something. Let's try that again. Can I just walk beside it? Oh. Interesting. Full restore, pretty sick. Good time to get it, right before the league. It actually might be very helpful in this fight. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, hello, hello Infernape, hello. Remember how hard it was to get you in this game, it was, whoo, whoo. I think my brother had to trade me from his platinum in order for me to get all those starters. Uh, I think I'm just gonna skip all those, or not. Um... I kind of feel on the bottom one. But I thought I was close to getting out. <clears throat> Game says no. No, 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 no. You don't need to get out. You need to get in this hole. Nice, I guessed right. Now, fun fact. Pretty much my only healing items are super potions for this battle, so I kind of hope I don't need healing very much. Mm -mm. Okay, I can see that I can walk around it on the left. <coughs> yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, right, 45. So I picked 45 uh, because it's, like, dead center in the middle of uh, what the league will be. <clears throat> That's pretty much, like, my cutoff level, and it happened to work out for the most part that all my Pokemon landed right around 45 whenever they ran out of PP, and I just kind of um, shared the experience around a little bit whenever they were, like, close enough to getting it. I think, like, Ramsey, the Breloom down there, was... Uh, like 44 whenever he lost all his moves, so I had to experience share him up a little bit. But pretty much for the most part, everyone else like just pulled their own weight. No, no, I don't really want to deal with Sandstream. No thanks, I'm good. Mm. 
I just, I, ju I just want to get out of here. Come on, man. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. I really wish uh, Magma Mortar learned Dark Pulse instead of Fan Attack, but what are you really going to do? Alright, <clears throat> here we go. Come at me, TJ, you scribe, you beautiful writer. Alright, um, I'm gonna go confuse Ray on this thing. This guy's pretty thick. I just wanna make sure my fan attacks are going to be effective enough. Oh, I also get a token for beating him, too. So that'll be nice. It'll replace that token I just used. Uh-huh. Nice. No healing, right? Oh. Well, no healing, but... It snaps out of confusion. What is it, turn two? Was... Yeah, definitely turn two. Because he hit himself once. Alright. What do you got? Mantine. I don't have an electric type move. Um, let's go Apple. Apple will take on this Mantine. Mantine's pretty thick, isn't it? It's got like some good HP, I would guess. I had Yawn on Apple, but... I'm probably just gonna leave strength because it's a good stab move for him. Nice apple, let's go. Get that paralysis too, bud. Or just, you know, just sit on it and, and then it's just gone. Alakazam? Actually, better to stay in with apple. Yeah, I'll stay in with apple. Apple's got crunch. I don't think you learn Focus Blast naturally. Yeah, I should eat that pretty decently. I've got good special defense and HP. Yeah. I forgot I was confused. <sighs> Apple don't care, though. He has no confused fruit. He's out here. Biting into... Old men with spoons, I guess? I, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. This guy's got, like, a really, like... Um, I don't know what they're called. It, it's like the dark, ghost, and psychic, like, trifecta. Like, that triangle. He's got a lot of those. He's got, like, one thing that isn't that. The Mantine? Yeah. Everything else has been in that, like, little triangle. You know, Apple, I'll, I'll take that. You did pretty, you've done pretty good. Pretty sure it's doing absolutely nothing, since... Payback does, like, double damage if you get hit in the same turn, doesn't it? There we go. A Yanma. I don't think I have anything crazy good for this, but I also don't think it matters if I do. I'll still Kage. Kage's got uh, some good moves for this. He doesn't have Ancient Power anymore. But I do have Ice Shard. Priority ice type move. Actually, my one shot again was pretty thin dragonfly. And a Ludicolo. I think this was a starter, actually. Uh, let's go Ramsey. Yeah. Ludico shouldn't get anything that's gonna hurt me too bad, even with nature power. What do we get, like rock slide? In that cave? Yeah, poison jab. Poison jab's super effective, right? Yup. <clears throat> nice, nice, nice. Alright, 
Oh, I did pretty good there. And made it. I do love the music here. Hyper potions. Now, I'm pretty sure there's. Okay, I know. I, I know. I even use Brandon because there's a. I'm pretty worried about PP going into this. Maybe I shouldn't be though. Like, I never worry about it whenever I go in with like a normal team. My normal, my team's like pretty much all healed. I've used like. Four attacks on one of them. We shouldn't be that worried. Do I have like any Lepa Berries at all? No, I don't. I don't think I have anything else. No. I think I'm just gonna go for it, to be honest. Uh, I do wanna grab get a few more full heals. Okay, I still got a little bit more money. So let's buy... Ten more hyper potions, and however many more, sixteen. You're gonna buy sixteen more full restores. All right. So we're just gonna heal up quickly with our super potions, and I think we're just gonna go in. Like, I have nothing else to do. All the way healed. Alright. I wonder if Gus isn't the right lead, though. I think he is. I think he's got nice versatility, but I also have Confuse Ray. Alright. We're gonna save. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go ahead and take this on, like... We're like getting into the end of the episode, but I'm just gonna start it started up like I see no reason to wait any longer. We waited like 22 episodes for this. I think it's time. All right, Will, let's do this. I am scared. My heart is tight. I must be having a heart attack. <clears throat> All right, nurse. What a great title for them. Mmm. See, I can hit this thing for super effective on two sides, but I don't think it's a good idea for me to stay in. I think Apple's the play here. Because it's likely going to hit me with a special move. Like, I want to look up Kleidel's level up move set, but I don't think I'm going to. Okay, power trick. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't really know Kleidel's stats well enough to know if him raising his switching his attack and defense is really going to change much i 
Okay, well, he's 100% got a potion right now. Yeah. I actually kind of like want him to use his potions right now. Yep. Alright, so this is when I save my crunch. Oh no. I did not anticipate him doing that. I thought he'd hold on. Wow, that did nothing. Um, I didn't anticipate him holding on to his last full restore. I thought they got two. Level up, level up. Ramp. Artos. Um, I think Brandon's the play, isn't it? Yeah, Brandon's definitely the play. <clears throat> I am a little bit worried about. Is is head smash a fighting type move? I I can never remember if it's fighting or rock. Does he even get a fighting type move? Go, let's go surf. I think it's Zen Headbutt, so he's trying to flinch me, I guess. Can I just one-shot him here? Nice. Loister. Uh... That's actually kind of bad. He has any ice type move. I can't send out Ramsey. I can't send out Kage or Gus for water. Might be a play to stand with Brandon. This is actually one where I am going to look up his level up moveset because it really depends on who I switch into then. Alright. Well, what do I got here? Let's see. He does not have a water move. Interesting. He does have an ice type move, though. <clears throat> um, see, with that knowledge. I didn't look at, like, how his stats are laid out, so I'm mm, thinking Gus. I think he's more physically bulky than he is special. Because both of them are going to hit him neutrally. Neither one has like a crazy super effective move. We're just going to go for the flamethrower. Star. See, here we go. Just something ramps he can fight, no problem. I hate protect mons at this point in the game. It's so annoying. Because they always use it turn one and just waste my move. Like, come on, man. I gotta watch my PP. Armaldo. Um, I'm gonna go into Brandon. Dot Armaldo can really touch me, honestly. He's a steel type. So he gets kind of a cheeks moose out. Yep, you and your psychic types, buddy. I'm actually pretty confident you have not thrown out a single psychic type. I'm gonna use Metal Claw actually. I've got a lot of PP on this move. A word? Invisible Brandon out here just pulling the whole team along. Jeez, dude. 
I know it's going to get a lot harder, especially once they start pushing more on par with me. But that battle, like, they were being a little bit of pushovers. <clears throat> Alright, looking at the time, I think we're going to go ahead and stop right here. In the next episode, we will hopefully finish out the league. So, I'll catch you guys on Thursday for the final episode of the Shady Lock.